guys, welcome back. We're cooking with cake, or we should say grilling with cake. It's about that time of the year to pull those grills out and start thinking about things that you can cook on the grill at night for dinner. Uh, for the summertime, and today we're making grilled sesame beef kebabs with Charlene Patton from the Kansas Soybean Commission. Thank you so much for being here. We love it when you come because you always bring uh, these wonderful recipes, but with a healthy kick to it. Great. And you know, this month we are combining it's May National right. Beef Month, mm -hmm. and people might be surprised that most of the soybeans in the the state change. of Kansas There's are no used to feed livestock. So, so we're partnering with the Kansas Beef Council and supporting like them this, this month the and have this great recipe, as you great. say, that combines That's these the healthy recipe. ingredients. And we all want easy recipes, right? right. We are on the go, but we know they're great for us. And what we're starting out with is one pound of sirloin steak. Okay. And we've cut that. It's boneless uh, sirloin steak. And I'm just going to put good. that in our bag. And by using, I'll set that over here. Okay. By using a resealable bag we cut down on cleanup and then this also keeps uh, everything contained for us so we can easily marinate it now we're just going to add our marinade ingredients which I'll let you add we have another soybean product and that is the okay. soy oil Let's wait until we see if we can get a little shot of what we're working on over here <laughs> and then you have two tablespoons of honey that we'll add okay there we go I'll add the honey there we Perfect. go Perfect. And I love this addition. Um, you can smell that, but that is fresh lime juice, fresh and I put the ze juice. zest in there too. Oh, okay. So it gives it a really fresh uh, that zest taste. Yeah. Use this. Great. And then Shane, you have some other ingredients. You have another soy product. This is two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can add that in for us. Okay. And then another ingredient that's going to add another dimension of flavor, and this is sesame oil. So okay. we'll add that in there. I put that on some of yeah. my Asian dishes. You oh, know? do you? Yeah, so it does give it that extra we, flavor, right. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And then you have sesame seeds that we'll put in there. Nice. Now, you can buy a marinade, a steak marinade, off the shelf, but I can't imagine that it's got just these six ingredients. Exactly. There's probably something else to be aware of in certain, uh, certain recipes. So I like that you come in here, you bring your own fresh ingredients, and you can make it just just like that. And you hit on a great point in that when you make it yourself, you can make adjustments. We could add another spice in here if we wanted to. We could add in maybe something a little bit different, uh, another herb. So when you do it yourself, you can control all those right. things, plus the cost. This right. is a lot less expensive to make because there are most of the things you'd have in your own pantry at home right. than if you were um, buying it already <laughs> made. So there we have it. And what we're going to do is let this just uh, marinate for about an hour and then we're going to put, skewer our uh, kebab sticks with it. You can see how we did that here. Put that on the grill and it only takes about eight to ten minutes per side. Okay. You don't want to overcook it because they're small cubes of, of the meat. And then what we're pairing it with, and I love this idea with the vegetables. And by putting the vegetables on separate on the kebabs, you can control because they get done at different times. But mm -hmm. we have fresh corn. I use the canned potatoes. And then we have a recipe for a, um, the base that we use on the corn that we're going to talk about later. Um, to make our salad that makes just a great meal to have all together. Wonderful, and that salad is very easy. And this was pretty easy too. And very how impressive easy. to say that you made your own marinade. Exactly. Okay, very nice. Thank exactly. you so much, Charlene, for showing us how to make this. Again, let's take a look at where you can find this recipe at. Uh, tell us a little bit about your website and the other recipes on Kansas there. KansasSoybeans.org. And this month our theme is outdoor cooking. So you're going to find a dessert recipe for the grill that we'll do uh, at the 11 o'clock show. Wonderful. But then the salad and the kebabs. We also have the archives, so you can always go to the archives and find all of our recipes. And another event that's coming up in June, I'll mention real quickly, is National Festival of Breads, and the Kansas Soybean Commission is sponsoring with the Kansas Wheat Commission that event. It's an opportunity to go and see them making breads, and they're using soy as an ingredient, oh, and a day-long event. That Very nice, great. and you can get all that information there. You just saw that website. We'll take another look again as we go to break. And when we come back, Charlene, here a little bit later on in the show, we're going to learn how to make this awesome corn salad yes. recipe. Sounds great. All right, thank you so much. We'll be right back. Stay with us.